These prisoners of war come from Cuba, Somalia, Nepal, India and Sierra Leone. Their foreign mercenaries recruited by the Russian army now detained in Ukraine. They claim to have signed a contract that explicitly stated they will not be sent to fight, and yet they ended up on the front lines before being captured by Ukrainian forces. I need money for my family, but I don't decide to... I, it, it was not my wish to be in the military in Russia. Um, the person who prepared my document and he was hiding everything from me. He could not, he couldn't explain to me that you are going to be in the military. This is suffering. I, I came from zero, go back, go back to the zero again. This is uh, something horrible for my family. Russia is recruiting foreign mercenaries from countries with low wages and high unemployment to fight in the Ukraine war. Some of the recruits were drawn in by video posts on TikTok and YouTube, promising civilian jobs or working in logistics and field hospitals with a Russian visa and salary of 2,000 euros per month. This Indian recruitment agent is posting such offers from St. Petersburg. He explains that the contract would not involve fighting on the front. Your work would be, for example, to demolish abandoned buildings and retrieve useful stuff like abandoned weapons. It's more of a security and manual labor job. But what seemed like the ideal opportunity for these men living in poverty ended with tears and being detained in Kiev. The Ukrainian authorities say these men are expendable for the Russian army. Russia uses mercenaries as a cannon meat and uh, chances you got your money is very low. The foreign mercenaries will face a Ukrainian court, but their release will depend on negotiations with their countries of origin. Kiev is in talks with India and Nepal to try and find repatriation solutions for the prisoners.